What's up, Blues? It's your girl, Avery Late Night, back again with another video. I know I've been gone for a while, but we're not gonna talk about that. By the way, if you are new to my channel or just don't pay attention to my videos, I am the most popular YouTuber in the DMV, so I've been told. This week, I've been trying to come up with good video ideas. I came across a really, really interesting Winky How article, and it kind of spiraled into me going through all these really dumb Winky How articles, but that's what we're gonna talk about today. Here are the dumbest Winky How articles that I found on the internet yesterday yeah yesterday so let's jump right into it so the first article that I came across was how to hide an erection I'm assuming that a lot of younger kids are reading this like in middle school you're starting to develop feelings for your classmates you don't know how to hide your little pee pee in math class I'm sure this is who's viewing this right wrong it was written by the winky house staff a bunch of grown women and men decided hmm men in this world need to know how to hide their erection no one has ever hit an erection before. No man has ever found a way to hide that bulge in those gray sweatpants. Getting an erection in a public place can be embarrassing, but you shouldn't freak out. It's important that you keep in mind that erections are a naturally occurring thing, especially if you're a boy going through puberty. Luckily, there are several ways you can cover up your erection or get rid of one. If you use the right methods and wear the right clothes, no one will ever notice your erection. Obviously, this is targeted towards young boys going through puberty, as they just put it, but this first picture is of a grown man with like abs. This guy is ripped. <laughs> What the fuck is this? Avoid wearing soft silk underwear because they can rub against your penis and cause you to have an erection. I don't know any guy with silk underwear, especially a middle school boy. Please let me know down in the comments, guys, if these are things that you do to hide your peepees. Because as a female, I always learn to keep an extra tampon in my book bag just in case my vagina decides to make Kool-Aid. But I know just about every guy I had to go through this. So y'all let me know, are, are these good tips? Because I feel like this is stupid. The second tip that they have is cover your crotch area with a large object. You can cover up your erection with a book, a blanket, a laptop, anything that can go on your lap. So if you're at school and you get an erection, guys, just pull a blanket out of your backpack. No one will notice that you just pulled a huge blanket out of your bag so just drape it over your lap like you're a female at black church and keep it moving you can tell that these comments were written by teenage boys because here you have can women get erections yes and no women experience increased blood flow as well it makes the female genit Gen wait what honestly i don't like tom's answer because as a middle school kid reading this okay women have penises too but they're just called clitorises and it's a little bit smaller than mine okay makes sense what if i get an erection while kissing my girlfriend i don't want her to think i'm a pervert the rest of the article just gives you ways to get rid of an erection but it's getting kind of boring since i don't have a penis so we're gonna move on so this next WikiHow article is how to take a shower. That's right, how to bathe yourself. Something that I'm sure you've been doing since, I don't know, since you were like five years old, probably. So the first step is to undress. I know a lot of you probably get in the shower with your clothes. I know I make that mistake every now and again. Take off any watches, necklaces, or any other accessories. So that's why my Apple Watch keeps breaking. I keep taking it in the shower. Duh, oh God, I'm so stupid. Carefully enter the shower once the temperature is perfect. No, wait, wash your hair every other day rather than every single day. Okay, so I'm not trying to be racist. I'm not trying to be racist, but this article was obviously written by white people because no black person would tell you to wash your hair every day. Heck, I wash my hair like every two weeks. My hair would literally look like it does now. Sorry, I know I look crappy, but I just got off work. It's been a rough week. Don't crucify me in the comments. And now it's teaching us how to shave and brush our teeth. Look, 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 look. If there's one thing I need to know, it's how to take a shower. And also how to hide an erection. So the rest of the article is basically nothing. The best thing that I can say about these articles is not the article itself, but it's the comment. Any ideas to make showering fun? Sing in the shower or dance a little. Don't get too carried away though you might slip and hurt yourself. Should you wash your back even though it can be tricky? How tricky is it to wash your back? There are loofahs specifically made so you can really get down in there. Just do this. I mean, I'm literally touching the top of my back with no problems. I saved the best article for last. I mean, this article is 
beautifully written by the good people of the Winky House staff. This is how to convince your parents to let you buy a nice diary. There comes a time in every person's life you want to buy a nice diary from Staples and your parents just tell you I have to pay right this month. You think we can afford diaries? <laughs> So if this happens to you, which I'm sure it happens to all of us, this article is the key to buying yourself a diary. So stay tuned. A nice diary can be a great tool to vent about your life. However, a nicer diary can be expensive. Think about why you want the diary and what you can say to convince your parents. I don't know how much diaries cost nowadays, but If you can't afford that, then you need to cancel your internet bill or your cell phone bill, whatever you're using to look at this article because y'all broke, really broke. The first step in trying to convince your parents to buy you a diary, work on proving your maturity and responsibility. I don't know why you need to be responsible to own a journal. It's like a $6 book. If you reject doing chores around the house, your parents will never buy you a diary and you'll be a loser and you'll probably get kicked out of school. You'll never find a spouse. You'll living with your parents for the rest of your life writing on loose leaf notebook paper because you still can't afford that diary that you want. Your parents may not want you to spend a lot of money on something that you won't use, but remind them that even though it's a lot of money, you earned a lot of money with your paper route and you'll take good care of the diary. I need to see when this article was written because I don't know any kids who have paper routes nowadays. I've never seen a child deliver a newspaper. I've never seen anyone on a bike deliver the newspaper. So the fact that they're referencing paper routes as if we're in some type of 1975 universe, yeah, it's not happening, kid. You should definitely reassure them that you just just want to vent on occasion about your really crappy middle school life, but make sure that you share everything. I mean everything. Your first kiss, the first time you had sex, the first time you hit an erection, the first time you learned how to shower. You need to share that with your parents or you're never getting that diary. There were no comments and I'm not surprised because anybody can buy a diary these days. That's not, that's not a hot commodity here in the United States. I know that little kids aren't lining up at Staples to buy the most expensive diaries that they have. And that is the video today. Thank you guys so, so much for sticking with me to the end. I really do appreciate it. If you like the video, make sure to give it a huge thumbs up. And if you aren't already subscribed, hit that big button right here. And while you're at it, you might as well turn on my post notifications by hitting that bell just to make sure that you don't miss out on any of my videos. Thanks for tuning in. You guys stay tight and I'll catch you another late night. Bye. I dream about doing you right. Yeah. Dream about doing it twice. Yeah. Dream about changing your life. Yeah. Dream about going all night. I never asked for anything. Let you decide the weather ring. Letting you ride right next to me. With a new bag and everything. You know my